Rita couldn't remember what game she played as a girl, but she remembered crying and her mother calling her Weeping Willow. In those days, children helped with the housework, and Rita was no different. Rita's mother used to black lead the fire grate, where she did her cooking. It was just like fireplaces being shown on the TV series Coal House. The ironing was done with an iron who heated up in the fireplace and then fit it into a special cover. The washing was done in a tub and the clothes were rubbed up and down on a scrubbing board with sunlight soap. Rita says this soap was a creamy colour and came in double block slab. A mango was used to wring out the water from the clothes before they were hung on the line to dry. Mondays was always washing day. Mondays was also the day Rita's family had bubble and sweet for dinner. This was the fry up from Sunday. Every Sunday morning could smell the saltfish in the neighbourhood that had been soaking overnight because this is what they always had for Sunday breakfast. On a Sunday, a lady came out on a horse and cart. She wore a white butcher's coat and used to shout, Skimmed milk, a penny a pint! Rita used to scrub the floorboards and living room table, and her mother told her to scrub with the grain. She said her mother was so clean she would scrub a matchstick. They had an oil lamp on the living room table, and a man used to come round once a week selling the lamp oil. All these memories helped Rita to remember the games she used to play. These were the top and whip, hopscotch, tag, and ratatat ginger. At Christmas, she went carol singing with her friends. In the summer, she used to walk down the lighthouse with a great crowd of women and children. She remembers walking alongside of her brother Trevor who was being pushed in the pram. He is now 82 years old. Times were hard, but people helped one another. They worked hard, but they were very happy.